After learning what a mild hearing loss is like for John, how do you, as a teacher, plan to recognize if one of your students is suffering from hearing loss? Firstly, after learning how common otitis media is in children, I will make sure to monitor my students for signs of possible hearing loss. Some major signs I learned to look out for include the inability to pay attention for prolonged periods of time, difficulty hearing conversation level speech, and an overall drop in performance in the classroom. That's a great start. How do you plan on accommodating to a student who has a mild hearing loss? I think that one of the most important things that I learn is that excessive background noise and noisy environments can hinder a child's ability to hear. To limit background noise in my classroom, I will first ensure that the other students aren't talking or ruffling their papers. For a child who is hearing impaired, I will place them as far away from the classroom door and windows as possible, as well as sit them in the front of the classroom so that they can hear me better. It could also be beneficial to use a microphone, as well as place subtitles on any video we watch. Those are really great suggestions. A lot of students, regardless of whether they have a hearing loss or not, are affected by the resonance in a classroom. How can you help with the reverberation in your room? To help with reverberation in my classroom, I will add soft surfaces like carpets and rugs on the floor, as well as hanging curtains in the windows. I think it would be neat to do a mini lesson about the importance of maintaining good acoustics in the classroom. Without singling anyone out, I could show my students the unfair spelling test so that they can understand what hearing is like for a classmate who might have a hearing loss, as well as emphasize the importance of limiting background noise in the room. Okay, great. I'm very pleased you took away so much from the presentation. Hopefully you can apply the information in your classroom effectively.